it's Red Feather from Grep Hacks. In this credit video, we will be showing you how to fade text in or out while using a color background. Within this credit video, we will share a tip for the credit timeline and show some issues that could occur due to human error and why you should use the tip and or how to resolve the error. In our past video, we showed how to fade credit text in or out utilizing just a white background. This procedure is similar, although instead of manipulating the whole layer, we show you how to only manipulate the text. Open Krita, create a new canvas. Once this is done, stop and take a minute to consider how many fade adjustments you may want to use. In order for the fade in and or out. For our Krita project, and to keep things short, I will only use three text items. For a full project, you may need to double or triple the amount of text items to get a smooth fade in or and or out. So each text item will need its own Krita layer. In knowing this, I will add two more layers. Go to the Krita layers, go to the plus sign, adding as many layers that is needed for your project. The reason we are only adding two is because, as you can see, we started with one. Once this is done in Krita, I feel it is a good time to point out our Krita first timeline tip. Notice our timeline by default. The timeline expanded the full length of my Krita workstation. Notice to the left of my timeline. There are tools there that we will be using in this Krita procedure, although for each Krita layer added, this creates a new row on the timeline, expanding the timeline, thus covering these tools. So, to avoid this, grab the edge of the credit timeline, shrinking it down to the size of the canvas. If you notice, you have this problem. Now, it is time to choose a background color. For our Krita project, highlight layer 1, if not already. Go to your color picker, choose the color you would like to use, then go to the toolbox using the bucket fill, place your color on the canvas. Once this is done in Krita, it is now time to create our text. In order to do this in Krita, we will be using only layer one as our text launching point. As Krita will place each text on its own individual vector layer. Click on layers, then go to the Krita toolbox, click on the T text tool, drawing a square on the canvas. Type what you would like to say, adjust font color and size, click save, and then close the editor. Go back to the credit toolbox, clicking the T-Text tool once again, go to the canvas, retyping the same text, placing it in a different area of the canvas. Keep doing this until all texts are created for your project. Now notice, on my canvas, 
I have three text items. For visualization purposes, I will shut off the background color by clicking its eyelet. You could do the same if you like. Also, take notice, because we have created three text items, we have three Krita vector layers, numbered one, two, and three. For all intensive purposes, we will work in number order. Highlight Krita vector layer one. Being we know this will be the start of our text fade in, we will make this adjustment. Go to the Krita tools and options. See where it says opacity. Adjust the opacity to a proper range. Then go back to the Krita layers Highlight Vector Layer 2, go back to the Credit Tools and Options, moving its opacity to the next proper range. Keep doing this until all of the fades look good for your project. Our third vector layer needs no adjustment. Once this is done in Krita, Go back to Layers, Highlight Vector Layer 1. Go to the canvas, moving your text to a proper area, ours being centered. Then, go back to Layers, Highlight Vector Layer 2. Go to the canvas, dragging the text for Layer 2, placing it directly on top of Layer 1. Keep doing this until all texts are aligned. Once this is done in Krita, it is time to put our vector layers into proper order format. What I mean by this is, for example, vector layer 1 will go with, with layer 1. In the layer window, grab vector layer 1, moving it down in the list so as it is directly above layer 1. Keep doing this to all the vector layers until all vector layers are above the proper Krita layers. For this next procedure, stop and do not do this at this time as I will show where the Krita error could occur. Go to the Krita Vector Layer 1. Right click on the Vector Layer and scroll down to Merge with Layer Below and click. Go to Krita Vector Layer 2. Right click, scroll down to Merge with Layer Below and click. Keep doing this process until all vector layers are merged with the layer corresponding to its number. Now notice what has happened. Because I have forgotten to turn back on the eyelet of the layer 1 before merging the vector layers, this has bumped my Krita background color. If you notice this happens to you, in order to correct this, go to the Krita title bar. Go to Edit using the Krita Undo function until the Krita background color returns. Once the background color appears, click the eyelet for, the, for layer 1 so as to turn it on and then merge all of the Krita vector layers to their proper layers. Now it is time to work with our Krita timeline. Go to the timeline, grabbing the upper edge, dragging upward so as to see the whole timeline. 
Notice our credit timeline and how each layer has its own track. And they are stacked one on top of the other. We need to fix this. And by expanding the timeline, this will help us and aid us in utilizing other credit tools on our timeline. One of the first things to consider about our credit timeline is how long we would want our fade to hold before the next begins. A lot of this will depend upon your project and how many pieces of text you made. For our credit project, and only having three layers, I will want to start my second set of text around the six marker. But keep in mind, you really do not know until you set it up and give it a playback. You may be tempted to start at the top of the timeline, but it is best to start with layer one. Go to the credit layers, shut off all eyelets except layer one and the background layer. Go back to the credit timeline. Go to layer one on the timeline. You can just drag this to the area you would like, but it is better to right click and duplicate frames as I will show you with layer two. Once this is done in Krita, go to the add blank frame, click the drop down menu, scroll down to add opacity keyframe. Be assured you have the proper keyframe highlighted on the timeline where, where you would like it to be. And then click. Go back to layers, shut off the eyelet to the layer one, and turn the eyelet of the Krita layer two on. Go back to the timeline, go to the keyframe to the right, Right-click, scroll down to Duplicate Keyframe, and click. Keep doing this until you reach the keyframe where the next layer will begin. Take notice on our credit timeline. There is a bit of a opacity keyframe confusion. In order to solve this, go to frame zero, Grab the blue looking keyframe, placing it in any other spot where layer two should be visible. At this point, we can give it a quick playback in order to determine how our credit project is looking. Go to layers, turn on eyelet one, and hit the play button. If everything looks good, we can then move on to layer three. Go back to layers, shut off the Krita eyelets for layer one and two. Then turn on the eyelet for layer three. Go back to the timeline, go to the keyframe to the right, right click, scroll down to duplicate keyframe, and click. Keep doing this as far as you would like it to run, either to your next fade, or in our case, the end frame. Whereas, we want it to run longer than the others. Keep doing this credit procedure until all frames are set in place, periodically stopping for a playback to assure you're getting 
what you want out of your project. Also, take note, on our credit timeline, I have created yet another human error. But first, let's correct our opacity keyframe confusion. Dragging our blue keyframe from frame zero to an upfront position on the timeline. If for some reason you notice this error on your credit timeline, go to the credit keyframe, Effected. Right click, scroll down to Remove Frame, and Pull, and click. Once this is done in Krita, and you are finished building on a timeline, go to Layers, turning on All Eyelets, and give it a final playback. If everything looks good, and you are happy, then resize your timeline, and it is time to render your project. I hope you have enjoyed this critic tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.